Well, if I, I show you some LED projects that I've done. Um, these are uh, what are known as K2 LEDs. Uh, they were made by uh, LumiLeds, Philips LumiLeds. Um, company was a joint venture between Hewlett Packard and um, Philips. Um, became its own company, LumiLeds, today. And they were one of the first companies um, to do LEDs. Uh, Hewlett Packard was. Hewlett Packard um, had some people doing gallium arsenide microwave diodes. And they noticed that the gallium arsenide microwave diodes would glow in the dark. And they go, oh, look at that. We can make LEDs out of them anyway. Um, then they started making gallium phosphide, gallium aluminum phosphide. And then later in life, they started making gallium nitride. Uh, these are gallium nitride with phosphor on them. They're white. Um, they're very uh, uh, crude white. They're just cerium uh, phosphor on top of the LED. So these are cool white, uh, like 6,500 um, degrees Kelvin. Um, and they're very, very old technology. Uh, these came out of a trash can. And uh, I don't know where. Uh, they were probably um, reliability units or something like that, testing. Anyway, they weren't for sale. They were just uh, junkers. Uh, but I grabbed them and took them home. Um, they're uh, a nice little package. Uh, they have um, a big copper slug in them to get the heat out of. Um, and then they have this silicone uh, lens bubble on top. Uh, the way that these are made are actually quite clever. I don't know if this will show on camera, but um, if we uh, we grab that silicone dome and put our fingernail really hard on it, we can actually rip it off. Um, so there, we've ripped uh, ripped the dome off the LED. And uh, the way that these LEDs were actually made where um, there was a um, hollow hemisphere. I can, I can sort of grab it here. There we go. So there was a hollow hemisphere uh, that was uh, pre-molded. And then the LED was mounted and wire bonded in there. Uh, and then it was filled with silicone as it was all put together. So here's some of the dried, dried silicone that was inside that little shell of a hemisphere. Um, and so then the whole thing became um, a solid piece of silicone optically. Um, so that's the way they were made. Um, and uh, I have a few of them. <laughs> I haven't bothered to figure out how many that is, but it's quite a few. So I figured, well, I got so many LEDs, maybe I should uh, build something. And I thought, well, I'll, I'll go ahead and do lighting. Um, it's kind of what they were made for. And so I have a couple projects that I made. Um, I'll show those. Uh, let's see here. I guess this is the first project. So most of the time you um, uh, purchased one of these things, if you were going to use it at home or use just one of them, it was kind of hard to do all on your own and get the heat out and everything. So you would get one of these what are called star boards. And these star boards are shaped like a star. And uh, the LED would be mounted on that. And then it would provide a heat sink because this, this is not a normal PC board. This is what's called an aluminum clad PC board. So it's, it's a, like a sixteenth of an inch thick piece of um, aluminum that has a very, very, very thin layer of dielectric and electrical connections on top. So the heat's able to go immediately down to the... Um, to the aluminum and uh, get the heat out of the LED. So um, normally people would see the, the star um, LEDs individually, um, but they have to come from some place. And uh, they come from uh, some type of panelized board. So this is uh, some panel. I don't know if this is a production panel or just uh, testing or something like that, but um, it had uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So 36 LEDs. And uh, then uh, before they were sold, they were bro broken up. You can just flex these things and snap them. There's score lines on them, and they just come apart. But since I could get them in uh, uh, panel form, I thought, oh, great. I'll just leave it all panelized. I'll put all the LEDs on here and uh, uh, then connect them up in series. So I have uh, little wires jumping the LEDs together 
and then some gray wires that go, you know, so it's row to row, uh, left to right, and then I have to go down to the next row, down to the next row, down to the next row. So they're all in series, you know, one goes out, they all go out. Uh, fortunately, when LEDs fail, they generally short. Uh, so the LEDs just go black, and then the rest of them get a little bit brighter. Um, but uh, that's the way um, that's the way it's built here. And I had a um, a drive electronic drive ballast that could handle this high voltage, and um, I was using it as a, as a, as a light light in in my shop. Um, and it was pretty good. It's nice and bright. Um, the color temperature, like I said, was pretty poor on it um, according to today's standards. But uh, I made this a long long time ago. Um, let me show you another um, K2. In fact, it even says uh, on the board here, Luxion K2. Luxion was the brand name for the LumiLeds LED. Um, Luxion K2. Uh, so I thought, okay, um, well, I have lots of boards. Maybe I'll lay out, lay out a board in, um, in Eagle. Uh, so I did that. These are little uh, boards that I laid out. Uh, this is actually two boards side by side. So each board, one, two, three, four, five. So 20 LEDs. Uh, on each board, and um, they're all in uh, the way that the way that they're wired is that there's ten LEDs in series and then two banks, so two in parallel strings of of uh, ten. Um, so that helped the drive picking the drive electronics. I only needed to drive a string of, of ten LEDs, not as high voltage as the other one, and then these are just in parallel. Um, so the back uh, shows you uh, some. Um, feature on them. Uh, this is a th what's called a thermal via. Uh, so it's a bunch of uh, via holes and uh, their only purpose is not electrical signal but just to get the heat out. Uh, to add copper, be you have uh, fiberglass uh, between the boards. So it's hard for the heat to go through the fiberglass but if you put a whole bunch of uh, via holes you're able to suck that hole, that uh, heat out and uh, you could fill those via holes with solder, uh, so it becomes even a bigger uh, piece of metal to suck heat out of the LED. So, uh, thermal via holes uh, is a clever idea. If you ever need to do that, um, and uh, yeah. Anyway, those are some LED projects.